I said, well, how would I know if you were having an allergic reaction? And he said, well, I tell you my mouth feels hot. It starts relatively quickly. And then within minutes, you see a progression, basically a snowballing of the symptoms. I understand that uh, there are a number of students who have their first allergic reaction at school. We know that the sooner the patient receives epinephrine, the better the outcome. Stock epinephrine is written for the unexpected. I heard the substitute teacher line the children up and say, okay, so which one's the peanut kid? And she said, I am not handicapped. I, I am, I am not. We don't need to label children. You know, the children, children deserve to be, you know, uh, addressed by their name. We want to just make sure that these policies really address uh, real life. What we need to do is take the facts about the diagnosis, the facts about our opportunities, put them on one hand, put our fears on the other. A student who is allergic to a peanut or a food, let's say, uh, can really sit next to somebody who's eating that food as long as they don't come in contact with it. My child really can play on the playground and really can run with their friends, can go to a sleepover if I take certain precautions.